And welcome back to another episode of the Casey Campbell podcast. Casey Campbell with you, of course. We're pleased to be joined by, as we always are every arc for every arc of races, Nick Sanchez, the driver of the number two Chevrolet for Rev Racing. How's it going, man? Going good, and you? I'm doing well. Um, how'd you enjoy your time off there, bud? Um, I mean, obviously, it's nice to have time to yourself and just like you know recoup. But you know, I really want to be racing every week, so. I guess I didn't enjoy it too much because I wasn't racing. So, hey, you're going to be doing that in the next. Literally, you're off for you're off for the Fourth of July week, and then I think we've got like four races in a row, or four or five, and we're because we're going to get the season really gets kicked into high gear um, in the next few weeks. Oh yeah, um, it's going to be a nice stretch of races, and I think it'll be pretty exciting. Oh yeah. Uh, okay, so we're going to Pocono this week, track that you've never been to. What's going to help is that there's another test <clears throat> session on the day before Pocono on Thursday. How is that? How, what, how are you going to work with that? How's that going to work out? Um, I think we have a pretty good base, even though never going there um, after Charlotte. I think our setup for those bigger tracks is pretty nice, and I think... I think that day I'm really going to take the time to not necessarily learn the track because I feel like it's a pretty self-explanatory track. Just kind of tune the car and see what adjustments I need for the race. So coming into Pocono this week, what do you, what's it take to get around the tricky triangle? Because it literally, the three turns have very distinct ways of how they're built. I think I know from three different types of track. How do you get around that? I feel like it's going to be a lot of momentum. So just, uh, you know, giving a little to gain a lot, um, not over pushing it, not overstepping your boundaries. And, you know, like I said, momentum, um, when you got, I don't know how long the straightaway is, but it's pretty damn long. So you slip up a little in the corner and you're done. So just momentum and being disciplined. So kind of going into, you know, this week, I know you put some good rounds together. I know you, of course, at Charlotte, you were, you, you were up there with the 18. What's it? How have you liked the momentum that you guys have been on the last few races? Yeah, I mean, I think the results, you know, mid-Ohio, obviously I wish I would have had a better result. And I feel like the results are, I feel like to the media and, you know, just to the fans, the results are showing. But I feel like since the beginning of the year, I mean, you look at Phoenix, uh, even Daytona, you know, we've had really, we had really good runs. We just didn't, we were not able to close. I mean, same with Kansas. So I think now we're starting to finish the races. And once we do, you know, we are doing that. So now we could go home and instead of bringing a wrecked race car home, we could build on it. So it just compounds and we make the car faster and faster and faster. But uh, I think Charlotte was a good measure. And I feel like that is the expectation that I now have for every race. So I, I know that you've, you've been talking, you know, more about that. And there's, there was a lot of interesting things that I learned about you because of, you know, when you were on Davey's podcast a few weeks ago, what was that, what was that like to kind of talk about, you know, your story with, you know, other, other folks and stuff and how you kind of came out of your comfort zone, you know, cause I know you, I'll admit you were a pretty shy kid a few years ago and now you're starting to make your own way into this. Yeah, I mean, you know, a lot of people have told me this, like, you know, if you're going to make it in the sport, you got to have like a personality, but you got to like, you got to speak your mind because people want to know what you're thinking. Um, obviously, in most ways, you want to speak your mind in a good way, but sometimes it always doesn't work out that way. But uh, yeah, I've just tried to kind of make a name for myself on and off the track, just, you know, speak a little louder, I guess. And, you know, just talk to the media a little bit more because at the end of the day you guys are what gets my story out that's why i asked to talk to you every week yeah uh, so going into you know we got some after this we got some pretty good short tracks coming up we have elko we have berlin we have iowa we have winchester you know what they all have in common you've never been there yeah um I mean, literally every track that I'm going to this year, pretty much I've never been there. So uh, in a way, I kind of like it. You know, it leaves an unknown um, and it's a really good learning experience. You know, 
I'd much rather go to a place I've never been than just go to some, you know, going to Toledo, I kind of knew what to expect. It's not my favorite track. Um, but these tracks, you know, I, I've seen them on, I've seen them on video. I've talked to people that have raced with them, you know, they look really fun and I'm really excited to get to learn the characteristics of each one. I like the action track. Toledo Speedway is a good track. Well, that's because I was there. So, yeah. Um, yeah. Always good to go to Toledo. Anyway, result this weekend, I know there's going to be some tough cars in the field. We have, you know, yourself, usual suspects, of course, Ty, Sam will be in the field, you know, the Venturini cars, Thad Moffitt. Um, there's going to be some others. How, how is it going to be competing with a lot of, a lot of, there's going to be a lot of good cars in that race. Um, it's excited. You know, I love, I love heavy competition like that because it, the reward's greater if you do good. So, uh, I'm really looking forward to, you know, ideally I want to battle the 18, you know, that's my goal every race. Um, I feel like if we could get our car tuned up right and, you know, I hit my marks, I feel like it's a good possibility. All right. All right, Nick, thank you so much um, for talking with us and uh, we'll talk to you in two weeks as we preview Alco. Thank you.